So um, thank you again all for being here. Um, and um, I know there are lots of questions that we will get to at the end, but at this point, I would like to turn it over to um, a number of key individuals that have been really critically important partners in this effort and uh, to offer their perspectives on where we are in the state and where we need to go um, in the coming months to make sure that we address the challenges that we face and the opportunities that are in front of us. I'd like to start with a national perspective from Jen Wirth, who is the Senior Vice President of Workforce and Economic Development at the American Association of Community Colleges. So at this time, I'll turn it over to Jen. Thanks, Aaron. Hi, everybody. I know I was given a couple of minutes, but just to make sure I give you all um, back on clock, I will just go very quickly and say thanks on behalf of the American Association of Community Colleges for the opportunity to talk to all of you. Uh, I, I was fortunate enough to work with many of the presidents that are on this call um, and also with Aaron. Um, but in the, the start of the pandemic, AACC um, scanned the, the entire country for how colleges were going to respond. And we put out a white paper, which I just linked in the chat box, around the economics of a mindful return. That white paper talked about colleges reopening and prioritizing um, certain programming to make sure that we had talent pools coming out of each state that were diverse and robust. That got the attention of Lumina Foundation and um, subsequently National Governors Association and Siemens Foundation. So we created the Reskilling and Recovery Network. Part of that work has 21 different states in it, each one with a state team. I am delighted to say that New Jersey is not just a part of that um, work and looking across uh, the states for strategic um, best practices, but you guys really have emerged as a leader. And because of the plans that Aaron have out, or had outlined, the thoughtfulness and the depth and breadth of your intentionality related to um, equitable and resilient economies and, and recovery, um, you guys were actually some of the first people we ever asked to speak to that national network. So you guys really are in a position of power. I think you are in a, um, in a unique time where you are focused on optimizing uh, your, your talent pool. And, and truly, I'm just delighted to be able to stand next to you during your um, coming days and months and look forward to servicing you in any way that's helpful. So thanks, Aaron, for letting me be here. Jen, thank you so much. Um